Now we will talk about the model which shows the trachea and the bronchi and also the larynx. So let's first look at the larynx. Above the larynx we have the hyoid bones and you can see the body of the hyoid is right over here in front. The lesser horns of the hyoid bone are here and here and you can see the greater horns on the side. Right below the hyoid bone and connecting the hyoid bone to the larynx, we have the thyrohyoid ligament. This is the thyroid cartilage. It is an unpaired cartilage and it forms the Adam's apple because right over here you have a prominence referred to as the laryngeal prominence which is more prominent in males than it is in females and is referred to commonly as the Adam's apple. This is the cricoid cartilage. It is a piece of cartilage that forms a complete ring. Uh, we're looking at the anterior thin part of the ring right now and we'll be looking at the thicker part when we look at the backside of the larynx. The muscle right over here that goes from the thyroid cartilage to the hyoid is appropriately named the thyrohyoid muscle. This muscle over here that goes from the cricoid cartilage to the thyroid cartilage is referred to as the cricothyroid muscle. Here is a side view of the larynx and right over here you can see the greater horn it extends posteriorly. Between the cricoid and the thyroid cartilages we have the cricothyroid ligament and between the cricoid and the first tracheal ring we have the cricotracheal ligament and right over here we have the thyroid gland. So uh, in this model they show some structures only on one side. Here is the, the thyrohyoid muscle and here is the cricothyroid muscle and right over here we have half of the thyroid gland. 